Also, the other thing that you talked about last time that I've got to give you credit for, I have reviewed uh, every company that comes on the show, what they're doing, what they're doing, particularly for the uh, minority community, for Af African-Americans. Uh, and I spoke with uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren yesterday about you. She did not know about the kind of, uh, uh, really the kind of thing that business can do versus government. How is the uh, decision to commit $100 million to invest to support African-American, black and minority owned startups in this beverage, uh, in the beverage world? It's gone very well. We've had a lot of interest and we're evaluating a number of investment opportunities as we speak. As you know, a couple of years ago, we did a similar thing for uh, businesses that were run by women. And today our venture portfolio is over half uh, in companies that are run or or, or owned by women. We think we can do the same thing in the African-American and minority-owned businesses going forward. We're very excited about the opportunity. And, and it's, a, it's a sector that has not gotten the right amount of capital over time. We think we can help change that. I told Senator Warren that your view was that it wasn't just because you have a big heart or any of that. It's because it's great business, particularly in the Hispanic community, also the, the uh, African-American community, where they've been ignored and they have spending power. And, and people must think that they don't do anything. That's right. And we, we're a big believer and we have to reflect the communities we serve. And investing in those communities is an important part of not only giving back, but, but engaging with the consumers that are that are critical to our franchises. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.